Hi everyone, what's up? My name is Chris. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing something a little bit random but also kind of celebratory but also kind of nostalgic and I'm not sure what the word is. Um, yeah. If you follow me over on TikTok or on Instagram or if you have been keeping up with my recovery story over however long period of time it's been a while. <laughs> um, you might know that I have been in recovery now for exactly, basically 10 years. I entered treatment for anorexia back in 2014 on January 28th of 2014. That date is like seared into my brain for my entire life. I'm kind of just like, all right, 10 years in recovery, what should we do? My boyfriends and I, you know, did our own little celebration. We just hung out. We built a fort in our living room with pillows and blankets and we watched some movies, um, which was a lot of fun. And we also went live on TikTok, which was awesome. But I was thinking, what else could I do to like really take this moment in? And I thought, what better way to celebrate my 10 year anniversary in recovery than to, <laughs> Rewatch. Well, maybe this isn't the best idea. I'm not sure. But just for fun, we're gonna be watching my first ever YouTube video that I posted here on YouTube almost 10 years ago. Um, I posted my first ever video um, on YouTube regarding recovery um, a couple of days after I was discharged from treatment. Um, so this video will technically be like nine years and 10 months old. <laughs> but once I was discharged from treatment, um, that is when I began my social media journey, um, sharing my story, trying to spread awareness for e eating disorders, and just hopefully sharing my story in an effort to, you know, just find people to relate to and to build a community. And that's what I have tried to do for 10 years now. And um, so I thought anyway, I thought it would be fun to go back and watch my first ever video that I posted over here on YouTube on my old channel um, called the eating disorder tag. Yeah, I know there was a tag for everything back in 2014. I have not watched this video in full in a very, very long time. Um, I watched it. I watched like a few seconds of it a couple of months ago because I made a TikTok about it. But um, in today's video, we're going to be just re-watching and reacting to the entire video. So yeah, I hope that's fun or funny or I don't know what emotions are going to arise, but it's going to be interesting and we're going to watch it together. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Chris. Um, I know this channel has been made into so many different things over the past couple of years, but um, I haven't really been using it a lot lately, so I thought I would kind of bring it back with um, a different theme. Um, my eating disorder is kind of awkward for me to talk about because no one really like asks me about it too much, but um, I just thought like, I've been watching videos, other people talking about theirs, and, like, maybe if I do it too, I could help other people out there or something. So, um, I'm gonna start it out by doing the eating disorder tag that I have on my phone. And that's really kind of weird, like, so I'm so happy, like, eating disorder tag, but I don't want to make some sad video, but, I mean, I'm trying to make it as enjoying as possible. I don't know how that could happen, but, okay. So, let's get started. Question number one. Okay. <laughs> A few things, a few things I do want to um, briefly talk about. First of all, my voice, my voice. That was the first like initial shock. I was like, oh my God, my voice sounds so different. Also, I am laughing at the like Twilight-esque lighting on my camera right here because this was a nice camera. This was like a nice like professional, very expensive camera that my parents had bought me when I was really young. And I remember, <laughs> using it to film initially and I was so upset because I could not figure out the lighting and the filters and the white balance and I remember thinking this is such a nice camera but the video is horrible so <laughs> watching these back I'm like oh my gosh it looks like I'm in an episode of like or a Twilight movie because like I feel like all the Twilight films have this like weird blue cool filter. Another quick thing that I just have to point out and laugh about, well one, I still have this entire outfit. I still have this sweater um, in my closet. Uh, second of all, my phone case is so funny. I'm not sure if you saw it. It's like a fake 
Louis Vuitton like plastic case. <laughs> um, I think it's so funny like seeing my style change too. I know I've only been like a minute into the video, but how old were you when your ed began? Um, it's hard to like pinpoint that exactly. Um, I would say around like seventh grade. I'm a sophomore now in high school. Um, I am guessing around seventh grade, so I was like twelve maybe. And then those were like my worst years, um, sounds in eighth grade. And then freshman year, I don't know how I did it, but I've kind of like recovered in a way on my own. But then like last um, summer, I relapsed really bad. And so I thought, I don't know. Here I am making this video for you guys, okay. <laughs> anyway, number two, did you decide to recover or were you made to? Um, I decided to. Um, like I said, freshman year, my eating disorder was basically non-existent. I don't know how, but I recovered very well on my own. And then last summer, a uh, lot of stuff going on, so I relapsed really hard. And I kind of caught it early on that it was happening really fast and not good. So last January, no, like for past January, I told my mom that I needed help. And so then, oh, it's cold in my so cold, I'm sorry. Um, so then I got sent to the hospital for my anorexia. I was there for eight weeks, which I can make another video about, um, which I will do. Okay, uh, number three, what were you diagnosed with? Like I just said, anorexia nervosa. Um, these questions are very straight to the point. This is weird. Number four, do you binge? Um, I do not. And number five, do you purge? I do not do that either. Um, this questions are very blunt. There's like only like three left. I think someone should make a longer one of these. <laughs> yeah, I will say those questions are <laughs> maybe not the most appropriate to be um, starting out like an eating disorder tag with. Um, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just say that back when I made this video, like the recovery community on the internet from what I remember like finding um, was like so much smaller than what it is now. Um, it's nowhere near what it is now, honestly. So I don't really think like a video like this would probably <laughs> be perceived as too like, um, I don't know, the questions are just very like, there needs to be more context in the questions instead of just like, oh, do you do this? Do you do this? You know, that's not really a good maybe indicator of things. But that's not what this video is about. We're just merely reacting. So let's get back into it. Also, one more thing. I did say in the beginning of the video that um, my channel had kind of been used for like a lot of things. Um, and this was my first like video kind of back, you know, making this video the eating disorder tag video. And that's true because my old um, YouTube channel, I had it for like many, many years. I think I opened it in 2008 and then I made a lot of videos about my Webkins collection and kooky pens and just a lot of weird like random collections that I had as a child. So I would make videos with like my Webkins and throwing them around and making music videos. And then I guess I stopped making videos and then I, posted this one like two years later on the same channel. So it was kind of funny, like having my old videos gone and then posting this one. And it really just goes to show you that like, I've really been on social media like for so long. <laughs> it's like, it's really all I know. It's really all I know. On uh, number six, who did you first watch on YouTube Edwise? Um, I just, not really anyone specific. I just like, um would search topics and like find people to watch. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm here making these videos because there weren't a lot of like boys talking about their eating disorder. I found like two videos, I think. So I thought like if I make a channel talking about my eating disorder, like maybe I could help others, like especially boys, like where, um, make awareness for eating disorders in boys and men as well as girls. Because I don't think that's very much, like, publicized and... I don't know. But, um... Okay. Number seven. Have you ever signed up to a pro-Anna website? Um... 
not a website, like of course those stupid like tumblers. I had one for like two weeks maybe, then it was just like getting really bad and triggering for me, so I was just like, no. Can't do this. Um and then number eight, which is the last question, what do you think we should do to raise awareness? Um like I was talking about before, um the whole point of me making these videos, um, start making these, is to wear, um, make awareness for, like, boys with eating disorders, cause, um, I know it's, like, harder for, like, boys to really ask for help with these things, and, like, um, so I thought it would be nice for, like, me to try to help people out there, um, you know that, like, you're not alone, other people suffer with this, too, um, I don't know, but yeah. So I do have to give a shout out to one person on YouTube that I used to watch a lot of the time before I entered treatment and after I was discharged from treatment. Um, and her videos kind of like inspired me to make my own videos. And I'm not sure why I didn't um, give her a little shout out in this video, but her name was Valerie, Valerie Kamai, I think. I'm not sure if she's still here on YouTube, but hey girl. Really it with the tag that seems so short but yeah this is my first video it's cold out here oh my god and like it's really nice outside but it's like windy i don't know that's literally all the questions i'm trying to think about just anything else but yeah so my name is chris um i have other videos that i'm planning to make very soon um like i said before i was hospitalized for eight weeks from my eating disorder um I don't really want to say where exactly, I don't know, but, um, I will make, like, a video, like, um, the typical day in the hospital, like, my whole inpatient experience. Um, I'm currently not doing anything at the moment, um, regarding, like, um, regarding, like, any outpatient programs or anything because my insurance doesn't cover it, um, so I'm just seeing a therapist and a nutritionist at the moment, so that's... But, um, I'll make a video on my inpatient experience, what I got out of it, yada yada yada, so I have stuff in store, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry this video is like kind of weird, this is so awkward for me to talk about, but um, hopefully I'll get better, like, the more videos I do. So yeah. Alright, so thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe, bye! There is no way that I just ended that video by saying, please subscribe, bye. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Well, I'm not exactly sure how I feel after watching that. Hi guys, it this is Chris. Welcome back to my channel. And before I start this video, I just want to mention, I am a bit under the weather. Oh my god, why is this talking? Anyway, like I was saying, I don't really have any, like... <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel after watching that, um, because like so much of myself I still see like in that person but I've also don't recognize that person in a way but I do at the same time it's like a weird thing I don't think that when I made that video I was thinking that my life would kind of become you know what it is now um which is awesome and which is great um but it's just really crazy to think of it in like a 10 year span in like a 10 year lifespan of like the past 10 years of my life sorry this is like a weird way of explaining things but I don't really know I definitely wish that I could go back and uh give that <laughs> boy a hug I was 15 years old there I'm 25 years old now so that's like yeah prime teenage years for me there and it was a little hard watching some of my answers just because I do still like see myself in him in like 15 year old me and some things have changed some things haven't changed and really easily I could almost like put myself back into my shoes like I remember filming that video like it was yesterday like I could go outside right now and like walk practically to where that video was filmed so it's just yeah it's a weird it's a weird thing it's a weird thing if you have been on this journey with me for I don't know how many 
10 years. No, I'm just kidding. I, I doubt anybody has seen that video and still watches me. But um, however long you've been following me, or if this is your first video of mine that you're seeing, or however long you've been supporting me or watching my videos, um, thank you. Thank you. Um, I could never have imagined that my life and my you know, goals 10 years ago of raising awareness for eating disorders and sharing my story would still kind of be so prevalent in my life goals currently. So that's really cool. And it's thanks to you who are watching this um, that has still allowed me to do it and given me the space to share my story and build a community and talk about things. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm gonna head on out. So thank you all again so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>